No, no, not that type of parking meter. A parking distance meter. This is a bench demonstration of my distance meter intended for use in my garage for parking my car. So I'm just holding a flat surface some distance from the sensor. The orange display indicates the car is not far enough into the garage, so I need to move the car in towards the back tool bench till we reach the green area, which is the safe parking area. And of course, as I move closer, distance gets smaller until the display changes to red, which indicates I'm getting very close to the bench. And depending on the speed and inertia of the car, in danger of crashing into the bench. So it's important that I stop somewhere in the green zone and not in the orange and definitely not in the red zone. Here's why I want this distance meter. This is my little single car garage, which also serves as one of my workshops. So it is full of stuff. This is my main workbench for wood and metal work. My large tools workbench. Here we have a box for scrap timber pieces with two hop-ups stacked on top for storage. Various other items, solar inverter, energy monitor, and a cupboard for additional tools and materials. So getting my car in here is quite a tricky process as there are lots of things to avoid. You'll notice I have big foam pads on each side of the car space so that I can open all the car doors without damaging the doors against the brick wall, etc. But other than that, there are some other things to watch out for, which I'll show you now. So, when parking my wagon, there are four things I need to consider. Firstly, to have enough room to get in and out of the car, with the door as wide open as it can be. Secondly, I need enough room behind the wagon to be able to walk through to access these storage cupboards, and also to be able to open the tailgate without crashing into the roller door. Thirdly, I need to be careful not to go too far to the left and crash into the scrap timber storage box. And finally, I must be very careful not to crash into the bench and damage the car or the bench. So here we are entering the garage, trying not to wipe off our external rear vision mirrors as we go through the narrow door. The $5 ultrasonic distance sensor I used is pretty hopeless at distances over half a metre or so, which is not important to me as I only want to know when I'm close to the bench. But you'll see the numbers flickering all over the place as we approach the bench. I ignore those until I'm getting close. Now you'll notice the red light has come on which indicates that I'm too close to the left and about to collide with the scrap timber box. So I just back off a little and come in a, a bit more to the right and observe the distance countdown from orange to green. I try to avoid going into the red zone, though a few centimetres in is OK, provided I stop promptly, but I just wanted to demonstrate display of all three zones. Just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll back up to where I normally stop which is close to the boundary of the green and red zones, like so. Notice that after a short time of negligible movement, the display goes off to lengthen the life of the LED displays and reduce the power consumption to just 1.5 watts.